what do you think about open APIs? Yeah, so I mean, you know, open APIs uh, as a way of, you know, just increasing the amount of collaboration that can happen in the industry. So, you know, you're the likes of Zero and PayPal who, who make those services readily available for um, anyone to, to, to put into their, into their apps, I think is, is great. And I think, you know, but as a, as a, as a company, as it grows, um, you know, we, we may move to having kind of an open API so that anyone can use this, um, you know, this, this marketplace of financial products sure. in any way that they, that, that they like without having to kind of directly come and, and, and do that partnership. That could be something that, that, that the company looks at in the future. What are your thoughts on PSD2 and would you uh, welcome uh, such a move here in the US? Yeah, I think PSD2, the, if you think about why it's been, been set up, it's to uh, increase competition. Mm -hmm. um, in the UK, we have a rather unique financial services setup where 80% of the kind of banking services is done by four major banks. Yep. Um, whereas in the US, it's, it's, it's a lot different. The, there's, a lot, there's a lot more kind of, um, there's a lot more different services that you can, that you can use. Um, but I think what PSD2 has, has enabled is a, is a way of customers kind of taking control of their data mm -hmm. and, how, um, and how they interpret that data and where they go to, to get their financial experience. Um, it's something that has, has kind of sparked, I think, new interest in our product. Yes. Um, because PSD2, you know, it, it kind of introduces this competition to banks. So banks are looking to plug more value into their, into their digital channels. Um, and we see ourselves as a platform which brings you know, more value than anyone else because we partner with more products than, than, than anyone else. Um, and so, yeah, I'd welcome something like that to, to, to happen in, in the US uh, from a customer point yeah. of view, but also um, it's opened up a lot of, a lot of interesting uh, areas for innovation in the UK. And what about trust? Do you feel that um, that has shifted from the, the traditional banks and uh, people are, are choosing to put their, their money in, in fintechs? Yeah, I think it's it's um, trust is a trust is an odd one because you know it's 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 earned and you can never really tell someone to trust you. Mm -hmm. So um, generally speaking, the, the companies that have um, you know big legacy also have big large amounts of of trust. Um, but it does change generation to generation. So young people are much more trusting of new, exciting, cool companies that talk to them in the way that they want to be talked to by their friends. Sure. Whereas my parents' generation want, you know, they want an established bank to be doing, um, you know, a lot of their a lot of their work for them. Yes. Um, but you know, we believe, and this is why our our, our model is the way it is, that banks are always going to be, um, you know, institutions of trust just because they've been doing it. Uh, for the longest, um, and they have you know millions and millions of customers to prove that they're that they're doing it. Um, but trust is something that's always going to be um, an issue going forward in the in the, in the finance uh, sector, especially when you have news breaks about um, you know data data leaking mm -hmm. um, and and privacy issues like that. So I think it's always going to be a, a point of con contention. But um, the big players have it for me. Brilliant! Thank you so much. Thank you very much.